So before we get into the video, I'm going to quickly show you guys what settings we're going to use on the Centro. We're going to be using the middle tension, this one right here, and then we're going to use the tubular settings. So make sure it's on the T and not the P. And yeah, so let's get right into the video. Here's everything that we need. You're going to need a crochet hook, um, some scissors, and this plastic needle that actually came with the Centro. Here are all the yarn that we're going to use. The purple one is going to be for the main body and the white one is going to be for the bottom. I've already used most of the white, but you're not going to need a lot of it. So since we're just making the bottom and the pocket. So before we start, make sure you're back to the number one, which is right next to the white thing right there. And so when you start casting on, make sure it's under number one. And then you're going to start going over, under, over, under. And you're gonna keep doing that until you get back to number one we are back to number one you're gonna go over that white thing and then you're gonna put it through the little thing right there I don't know what, it, what that's called and then you're gonna put it in the middle tension this is the row counter right here so make sure you keep an eye on it we're gonna be doing 26 rows after you put it through the middle tension you're just gonna keep spinning it just round and round until you get to row 26 so now I'm coming to an end for row 26 and when you get to the white thing you're gonna take it out of the tension and then cut it and then you're gonna pull it through pull it right next to the white and then just lay it down like that and then you're gonna grab your next color which is the purple color for me and we're gonna basically put it through that line right there Lay it right next to the white yarn and then put it through the middle tension and then you're just going to keep spinning like you were. And then when you get to um, where the yarn is, so back to number one, you're going to tie it so it doesn't come undone. And then at the end, you can weave it in and then yeah, or you're going to keep going until you have 98. So the row counter should say um, 124. So I forgot to show you guys how to cast off, but once you finish um, 124 rows, you're going to take it out of the tension and then you're going to keep holding onto it and then go until you get to the white and then you're going to pull the yarn um, into the middle or whatever. Make sure you take off a lot of yarn and you just keep spinning it while holding onto it. And then when you get to the end you are going to cut off a lot of yarn. Don't cut it super short, but make sure it goes around the central machine. And then you're gonna end up cutting it. Next, you're gonna put it through the plastic needle that came with the central. Now I'm gonna zoom in and then show you guys how to cast off. You're gonna start at number one and you're just gonna pick up that little yarn that's in the middle. Then you're going to pull the needle right through that. And now we're going to go back to the um, purple one because my camera cut off. So you're just going to keep picking up that little yarn that's in the middle, pulling the needle through. You will keep doing that, but leave the last one on there. You're going to end up distressing it and then you're just going to pull it to give it that effect. And you can keep you can keep pulling it as much as you want depending on how distressed you want it next we're gonna be making this tar and you're gonna start by chaining four so the way that I hold my hook and my yarn is super weird but don't judge me because that that's like what works best for me after you chain four, you're gonna go into the first one and you're gonna grab the yarn and then you're gonna have two on the hook. You're gonna pull it through that one so it's a slip stitch. And then you're gonna find that hole that's in the middle. That's the hole that we're gonna be working into. You're gonna yarn over, pull it, and then you're gonna do two go through two and then go through the rest of the two so we're gonna be 
double stitching into the hole and you're going to do that three times that's two and then you're going to do it again and then you're going to have three and then you're going to chain one after you finish the three and then you're going to do another set of three okay so you're gonna do five sets of three so overall it's gonna look like a pentagon so you're gonna have 15 different um stitches here we are at the end and you're gonna go through that top those top stitches and you're gonna go through two you're gonna grab the yarn and you're gonna slip stitch so you're gonna go right through that one and then now you're gonna do six chains first one you're gonna do a single crochet go through two of them the next one is gonna be a half double crochet and then you're gonna have three and then you're gonna go through all of them the next one is gonna be a double crochet go through two and then go through the rest of the two the next one is gonna be a treble crochet so you're gonna have three different little loops on there go through two go through two and then you're gonna go through the last two and then you're gonna do the same thing the next one is gonna be also a treble crochet go through in there yarn over and then go through two go through two and then go through the last two oopsies <laughs> And then when you're done, you're gonna find that little hole. So make sure there's one, two, three. And then that hole right there, you're gonna go in there and do a slip stitch. And then you're gonna chain six again. So that's the first, that's the first little leg of the star. And then you're gonna do, you're gonna chain six and then just basically repeat what we just did until you get to the end. Once you've reached the end, you can go ahead and cut it off, and then there's the star. So now we're gonna make the pocket, and I started off with 20 chains, and then I'm just gonna measure it to see, to make sure that the star is gonna fit on there. And then yeah, so you're just gonna basically do um, single crochets into the, the, the little loops. So you're gonna go into the first one right there and then go through two. And then you're gonna go into the next one, grab it, go through two. You're gonna keep doing that until you get to the end. Once you're at the end, you're gonna chain one, flip it, and then basically do the same thing. So you're gonna go through two of them this time. You're gonna grab two loops. So go under that gonna basically do the same thing you're gonna do single crochets into the into the little loops right there so you're gonna go under grab it and then go through two so now I have five rows done of single crochets and this time we're gonna start um, decreasing that way the pocket can have like a little shape at the bottom so we're gonna skip that first one and then we're gonna go into the second one and we're still gonna do single crochets Do the same thing 
um, until you get to the end where you have only two left you're gonna skip that one and then go into the last one so you're gonna go under there grab that one and then go through that you're gonna flip it and this time I didn't chain it you're gonna skip the first one again and then go into the second one single crochet And then you can stretch it out like that. That way the shape can start forming. And then you can keep doing that till you get to the end. Okay, so here we have the pocket. I'm gonna put the star on there to make sure that it fits on there. And it does, yay! And then cut off the yarn and then make sure you weave that in after you're done now you're gonna grab your plastic needle and then you're gonna basically connect the star to the pocket and you're gonna go into the ends of the star so around like the edge basically so you're gonna you're gonna start from going under and then just try to get that little edge then you're gonna go through and then you're gonna go into the next little loop and then make sure it's in there like tight you're basically gonna keep doing that until you go all the way around I'm gonna put the pocket on the skirt just to place it like where we want it because now we're going to start um, attaching the pocket to the skirt and you're just basically going to go around the pocket okay so here it is i have the pocket on there it looks super cute and this is what the skirt looks like and this is what it looks like on 